everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hi everybody, it's Cindy Otter. Guess what we're doing today? Today is the monthly challenge for March. And what we're gonna do this month is we're gonna use masks. Now, there's several different ways that you can get masks um, without purchasing them or relatively cheaply purchasing them. I just got too much junk over here on my desk. Um, there's several different ways. First of all, uh, Diane Reevely has some stencils where she has left the mask portion of it in. So you can always use one of these as a mask. Okay. What the mask does is instead of putting down the image, it blocks out that image. If if that's what I that's how I understand it. Okay. So there's one option. You can actually buy stencils with the masks included. Um, another option, and I did this in the past, is I went through magazines and I just cut out a bunch of different um, people that I wanted. And then I took it and I just covered them all in black because they were kind of distracting looking at the actual people from the magazine ads. So I just painted them all black on both sides and then I actually ran them through a laminator. Now, if you don't have a laminator, it's no big deal. Take some clear packing tape, um, run it through it and then cut them out. And there you go, you have a perfectly good mask. You can pick them up, you know, you can have them in any shape, style, size that you want. All right, so that's just a simple way to do a mask. This is one of Diane Reilly's. So all these black ones, like I said, they're all just um, people that I cut out. I like the pose or I like the way they, you know, looked. All right, so that's another option. Here it is without the, um, yeah, I cut her down, without the black paint. So this is what they, and it was just kind of distracting to me, so I did them all black after that. All right, another option is these are wood pieces that you can find in any one of your stores, um, any craft store. They're relatively cheap. They're inexpensive. You can pick these up for next to nothing. They make fantastic masks. You lay them down and you paint around them, okay? So there's another option. I think I might use those two today. Um, this is just press board, same thing, same idea as a mask. You can use them. Now, there's also these stencils. These, I believe, I picked up at Walmart. And these come in a pack like this. And I'm sure you've all seen them in Walmart. Um, as you can tell, I don't use these a whole lot. I'm not quite sure why, but I don't. Uh, so, the inside of them, again, what's left there is the mask. So, there's the masks of what, you know, you can, you can keep. All right? So there's another option. The next option is to actually make your own um, as far as just a cutout. Here's a pair of bell-bottom pants. I'm not quite sure where I got this. I haven't used it yet, but I had to hang on to it. It's just kind of cool. So I'm going to put these in my box of masks. These ones I'm going to use today. I think those I'm going to use. Now, making your own. Um, I've got some stamps here. These are just regular stamps. Some may be Tim Holtz, some may be, um, who knows where they come from. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp, load up my stamp here. Now, another thing you could do is just draw this. Um, I'm not in the mood to draw right now, so it's just going to be stamped. All right, I'm going to stamp down this balloon. There it is. It back in its container all right and then we're just going to cut it out simple as that and what we will have is we will have ourselves a hot air balloon mask all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to use these masks um, and i'm going to create a journal page let's get that out of the way um, and I've got one of my older journals here that I've been trying to 
um, finish up because it's it's got to be four years old. All right, and there you go, an instant mask. Okay. All right, so let's put these to the side and we're going to get into the journal. This is this is a Diane Reevely journal. Like I said, it's oh, it's got to be a good four years old. You can see it. It's just it's well loved. That's for sure. So let's see if we can find um, a nice page. I'm gonna go toward the back a little bit. Yeah, because I know I have a lot of pages back here. So let's do this back page right here. This looks good. Let me grab my. I have too much stuff on my desk right now. And it's annoying. Let me grab. All right. All right, let me get some paints out and let's go to town. I'll be right back. All right. So what I did is I went through my scrap drawer and I got out a bunch of scrap papers that I'm going to be gluing down. I'm going to be using, um, this is Martha Stewart Decoupage, which is a matte finish. And um, I got this, of course, on clearance. That's why I buy all my stuff like this. And um, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to play and put down some paper and see where this goes, see where it takes us. All right. Um, I am, I think I am going to fast forward through this process, basically because I still don't have my voice all the way back yet from being sick, and I really don't want to lose what I've got. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll come back when we start using the masks, all right? Have fun! Thank you. 
guys I hope you guys enjoyed this um, I I actually just and really enjoyed just playing around today um, using a mask and just creating a page I've thought about whether or not I want to put words on the page and if I did it would say my heart is yours but at this point I don't want to put a word on it. I, I like it just the way it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you take me up on my monthly challenge. Let's go ahead and use some masks, make an art journal page, and let's see how they turn out. I'd love to see them. All right, so as always, have fun. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!